from the bright lights of Las Vegas to Nevada's natural beauty. The American leg of Rugby's Sevens World Series is one of the most distinctive on the circuit. As hosts, Team USA are being hyped up. The men have been struggling, but the women's team were runners-up at the last tournament in Sydney. Um, it's extremely important to represent, um, especially on home soil, um, but I don't think we feel any extra pressure, um, mostly because it's, it's rugby at the end of the day. You put the cleats on, you run on the pitch, you have fans. The, the biggest thing is just to recognize that, use that inspiration. We get so few opportunities to play in front of our home fans, so it's such a fun event for us to come here, come home, have the fans really get behind us, and we're hoping they can help to pick up our season. Here's the team that's caught the eye this season. South Africa's men have won three of the opening four tournaments and are on course to become Sevens World Champions for the first time since 2009. Lots of people have been commenting on the spirit of the squad. Yeah, I think culture is massive for us and it's, it's I think for me as a coach and for us as a management is to, to really live that culture. It's no, no use we're having values and it's all well and good on paper, but we don't live those values, especially the guys at the top. And, uh, and then also create an environment where the players can reach their full potential. South Africa's men's team may be leading the Sevens World Series and by quite some distance, but for Las Vegas organizers, the stars of the show are the home team. Let's go, USA! Alex Thomas, CNN, Las Vegas.